I'm really confused. We killed that uh, mushroom bitch. Yes. Boy, did that's you right. almost died multiple times. Yes. Didn't someone uh, else go down? Or was it just you? We long I think rested, Cassius right? went down once. Bro, yeah, you Cassius guys. Went down. Dang, Cassius, you guys left the Neverlight Grove, and you've been on the road for a, a few days. So yeah, you definitely rested. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, long rest. There it goes. I know I long rested, and then reset my HP for some reason. <coughs> Just, yeah. <coughs> reset my spells. Yeah. yeah. That reset my HP. But then you came across a crevasse with a rickety bridge. That's right. That's where we left. Nope. I gotta put my. And I, I am I, back. Am I still grappled or something? Or no, I, I got it. Got killed, and I fell back to the bridge. Right. Yes. Uh, I right. will put you guys on the map. Probably forgot I used my my secret move that I was trying to hide. <laughs> that oh wait, that's why I didn't have full HP. I took hits. Duh, stupid. Oh yeah. Yeah, you've taken. Yeah, I'm you've taken so. damage, and I think Rid's yeah. taken damage. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Did I take any damage or? Uh, who was um, running Chris? I haven't taken damage. I was. Maybe. Oh, I did. I took I four damage. Sheet, but I don't believe you did. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anybody really took any Big damage, damage or other than yeah. Rin. Yeah. Okay. And we had a lot more inbound. Well, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. yeah. And the bridge is rickety, so be careful running across it or whatever you guys think you might be able to do. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going through your tokens real quick, making sure the permissions are all right now that we have a full house. So that we don't get double token movement and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we started from this end and we're headed over here? Yeah, you started on the right side. You are heading to the left, but you are being attacked by these. Rainbirds. Mm-hmm. I mean, you weren't being attacked by them until somebody made a thunderous boom on one side of the uh, one side of the bridge. Listen, but you listen. know, <laughs> mistakes were made. Okay, everybody's permissions are right. How does it keep zooming uh, so, in on me? Stop it! Oh, because I'm I'm. It's what happens when I hit enter on some of the last token I selected. It just oh. goes to that one. Uh, so we are at the top of the round, which means it is Cassius's turn. So Cassius, I know your your teeth hurt, but do your best here. <laughs> yeah, it's just my jaw's a little swollen, but I'm able to speak now. So that's good. That's good. That's good. I didn't have any wisdom uh, teeth. Lucky, lucky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's a small part, small percentage of the population who doesn't get them. Yeah. All right. Uh, I had my name. Uh, need small percentage. Mm-hmm. Like one percent. Um, I'm gonna use my bonus action convert to a spell slot and a sorcery points. Then I'm gonna move away. I'm gonna try. Thirty feet. Okay, hang on before you do anything. There. Before you do anything else, we have to see if the bridge holds. The bridge does hold. Awesome, awesome. Oh, that's 45. Oh, dang it. I just grabbed out my wild magic and I realized you don't have phaserus around. Dang it. (laughs) A big phaserus plant comes rushing down the river. (laughs) Let us enjoy one fight without fucking... (laughs) For once. What makes you think you get to enjoy the fight? I'm the one enjoying the fight. (laughs) Right? Yeah. This is all for his entertainment, not ours. (laughs) You all turn into sheep. I'm going to use a twin spell and I'm going to try and take out a badly injured guy and then this near death guy at the bottom there. Okay. Alrighty. So. Um, hit, where are you? Go back to the spell. Uh, it'll be a chromatic orb at first level. Okay. And 
and I will do fire. Then. Oh, it's a bad roll. Ooh. But I'm going to use luck. Okay, yeah, nine is not going to do it. Luck. I'm going to use luck. Come on, luck, save me here, you son of a bitch. 13. 13 hits. Wow. Oh, thank God. And then I'll hit the other guy. Same thing, yeah. fire. Uh, do fire. they both do the same damage, or do you roll yeah. damage separately? Yeah? I'll roll oh, nice. uh, damage separately, but it's 3d8 damage for fire. Okay. You do not need to do math for, this, for the bottom one that you crit on. Okay. That's, that's unnecessary. Uh, oh, yeah, it was a crit. Shit. Uh, okay, and so... And I felt that it was going to uh, rain. Did I roll the damage already? Uh, I don't see any damage. If I just run around the house. Mm. Oh, it's... Yeah. Eleven. Eleven damage. Eleven fire damage. He is still up, but he is not looking happy. Crazy. And that's it for my turn. Okay. I'll bring us to Crescent. Um, yeah, so I will uh, see this blood flying more at me, and I will uh, look at them and uh, say, Ding dong, Brino, and cast Toll of the Dead. Wisdom save All 14, right. please. At, uh, uh, which one? The oh, badly injured one. Okay. Badly injured one makes a wisdom save. Uh, that is a one. Right, so it has. Yes, it is. So therefore, that is fifteen points of damage. He has fifteen HP. Nice. So this bell rings, and his little top brain explodes. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, uh, that'd be good for my turn. A extra bonus action. Okay, Theric, you're up. Oh, this one here, he's got a marker. Is he restrained or something? Uh, he has uh, Lou cast, um, what did you cast on him? Um, it's, uh, he's he's restrained. He has Thorn hostage. No, he's like, right. No, it, it's Thornbound hostage. He's not restrained at all or grappled or anything like that. It's just that when somebody deals slashing to damage to him, he takes 2d4 extra uh, piercing damage. Okay, got it. When someone deals slashing damage to him, yeah, here I'll display it. Yeah, I don't think I have any way to slash. Is is that the only one that's left that you can see? But there are the yeah. sounds that you coming from down the passageway that you would assume to be more of them. <clears throat> okay, um, well, I would tell everybody so I have the chance. Uh, I have a way that I can make the bridge stable first to get across so we can get across it easier once we take care of this one. So don't cross until I do my thing unless you want a chance falling through. As I almost found out to my own chagrin. Um, I really want to kill this mother. He's injured. Is he he is, is injured. Um, do you, I can't remember, do ranged spells have disadvantage if they're in melee or anything? I can't remember. I believe so. Oh, if they're within five feet of you, then yeah, if it's a ranged yeah. touch attack. Okay. Or not if it's a ranged touch attack, if it's a, like a ranged spell. Yeah, target yeah. attack. Okay. If it's touch, then yeah. you have to be yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Which doesn't make sense because you're like point blank firing it, but whatever. Yeah, and it's not like it's a a bow where it yeah, could throw you off. Yeah, um, AOE is affected by that. Yeah, you should cast fireball on him. <laughs> I don't have fireball. I have my time oh. version. Yeah, uh, I don't think the bridge can oh. take the damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was thinking about casting. The, Cone of fire, but yeah, that might. Well, if it doesn't, if like burning hands, does it? 
Oh, uh, it says it lights any flammable objects that are being one. Yeah, I don't want to light the bridge on fire. That could be bad. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, maybe it could be great. Eh, you know what? Fuck this guy. I'm gonna use a fourth level spell slot. Whoa. It's going okay. big. Let's psychic lance this motherfucker. Oh, an intelligent save? Yep. Oddly, oh, not his worst save. Uh, 17. Does 17 pass? Uh, it does. I will use my reaction mm. to... Let me see. I have a couple different things I could do. Uh, I'll use uh, my Chrono Shift ability to make him uh, re-roll. And he has to use the result of the second roll. Okay, second roll is a 13. There we go. Yeah, 22 psychic. 22 psychic damage to him. And isn't he incapacitated? If he survives. Uh, uh, he... he does survive. Then, yeah, he will he'll be incapacitated. I think. Incapacitated, uh, incapacitated until the start. Until- yeah. So okay, so yeah, he is incapacitated for now. Okay. No, so you told everybody not. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I told everybody don't cross until I do my thing. Okay. Well, it's incapacitated, so it's not going to do anything. And Enra, you are up. <coughs> uh, I'm assuming there's only one more dude up. That you can see, yes. Yep. Yeah. Right. I'm just gonna, yeah, make sure I'm all the way at the edge of the bridge. Acha. That is definitely gonna hit. Acha. Ooh, that'll do it. Uh, Theric, you see this brain thing? An arrow explodes out of the side of facing you, splattering you with viscera from its brain and beak. It is dead. Yes. And then with the with the rest of my action and bonus action, I'm going to yell, let's go, run. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to leave initiative up, but we're not going to act in initiative until um, something, some other things happen. So if you guys don't have to do things in order, but if initiative restarts, it will be Rin's turn. Okay. So I would tell everybody, uh, I can put a wall of force underneath this bridge oh, that'll nice. hold it up. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. So oh, too, bad, too bad Rin made a run for it. <laughs> I told every if she wants, yeah, I told everybody. <laughs> I, I, so I'm gonna, it says it doesn't have to be above it. I'm gonna put it directly below the boards of the bridge, so that way it doesn't interfere with us, but it, the boards, if they would fall, they would hit the, the wall and Right. It's like directly okay. below the boards. Okay. So, so yeah, I'm going to say supporting the bridge. It, it, gets, wanna... it, get, it would get to about here. Yeah, that's. If I put it directly in front of me. Yeah. I'm going to say that, that that totally works and you guys are able to run across. Okay. Uh, I would tell everybody to, to follow me exactly. Follow me exactly. You don't wander off it. And... Awesome. And we all okay. cross. Mm, As you do, you can hear a cacophony of shrill shrieks and clacks of beaks smashing together as coming from above. Well, really not above, but coming I mean, from up here, you can see these guys. Let them move really slowly. There they go. Come into view, but you are able to duck down the tunnel and run away from them. Awesome. Just before you duck out of sight, the large one flings a lightning bolt that glances off the rocks. Hmm. Fuck that guy. And as you are running down the tunnel, possibly because of the lightning strike, you're not really sure, but the cavern around you begins to shake. Or they want to send an arrow back at him for shit out lightning bolt at us. <sighs> oh my god. 
The cavern begins to shake more and more violently until all of a sudden I'm gonna take us out of combat here because you guys you guys made it with that wall of force there. All of a sudden the ground beneath your feet crumbles to nothing and you are falling. I need everyone to make a deck save. There we go. Mm hmm. No, oh, Gidget. Gidget, no. <laughs> oh, no, Gidget. Hey, Eric. <laughs> I don't yeah, I don't have slow fall or anything. Damn it. That's something I never every time I take that spell, I never cast it, so I stopped taking it. Oh wow. Okay. So you all let me move your tokens onto this other map. I don't know if I passed or failed, but if I failed, I will also be using my lucky footwork to add a plus three to mine. Uh, Lou, you did pass, so you are good. Uh, oh, well, you guys will you guys won't be able to see this map because your tokens aren't on it. That's just silly. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so you guys tumble down this dark passageway. Get everybody on here, and. You are all going to take some damage from the fall. Oh boy. So, let's see. Who passed? Crescent, Anenra, Cassius, Lou. You guys each take four bludgeoning damage as the rocks bounce you down this sheer face into a deep pit. Holy um, John, superhero landing. And... <laughs> Gidget and Theric and Rin are going to oh well are you only going to take six damage from the fall so no mm -hmm. not not oh, very good goodness. damage rolls so that worked out you, you find yourselves in a narrow dark passage invisible with, falls. With with debris all around you. Oh, goody. It looks like there's only one way to go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. As you move through here, depending on where you go, things different things can happen, so just don't move more than like five or six things at a time, and if I tell you to stop, then just stay where you're at. I can't move through the wall. I'm gonna go Is my here. torch still up? Um, I'm gonna say you would have dropped it in the fall, but you have another one. I was about to say I got another one. <laughs> um, if you like that torch, I'm gonna get a, a, out of the light. Well, oh, I God. turn you sideways. <laughs> oh we... no! Now you're sideways the other way. <laughs> once once we oh. land and uh, kind of right herself, I want to cast. Uh, See invisibility uh, on myself, I guess. No, oh, that's a good call. You just see me flipping oh. you off. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> it lasts for an hour or so. Uh, okay, so as you, before you move anywhere else, as you make your way into this little cavern, and Enron and Cassius and anybody else, you're going to see the walls just look wet. Hmm. Like they're just oozing liquid down the sides. And there's a little bit of water at your feet, but, like, not enough. Like, enough like it's a puddle. Like, you can splash around in it, but it's not, like, mm. it's not making it difficult terrain or anything. You touch nothing. Everything in the fucking Underdark is cool. Right. Cool. Like, just fuck this place. Yeah. Just send, a, send a nuke. Just, well, we can scout out ahead here. Yep. Jim Jar says, hey, I'm from the Underdark. Thank you very much. <laughs> Keep forgetting you're here. <laughs> uh, you want to go left? Just because the DM doesn't right? put my tokens out. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go stealthing up ahead here. Okay. Uh, you know, um, 
with all of this going on, being down in all these tunnels, I am going to actually unsummon Gidget. Okay. I don't feel like this is going to be very conducive for her. Gidget poofs away. Cassius, you can see ahead of you down that tunnel. Uh, you would notice that the mm. tunnel changes from a more natural rock to what looks like worked, finished stone. Okay. Oh. What do I see down my I tunnel? Wheeze. Cassius stops. Oh. And Anenra, oh. you oh. see more uh, just natural stone tunnel. Mm. Meet back in the middle. I'm going right, to a little bit here. Okay. Oh, All right. if he's going to keep going, I'm going to keep going. Uh, yeah, I just want to, okay, Cassius, stop again. Cassius, rising up from the liquid at your feet, and Anenra, you also should stop there. Okay. I was going to say it looks like a dead end. I was going to turn back around anyways. Um, rising up from the liquid at your feet, Cassius. Something that looks like a, some sort of tentacle almost rises up and takes a shot at you. Trying to do oh. something to you. Does a 10 hit your armor class? No. All right, this thing tries to strike and it misses, and we are in initiative. What the shit? That everybody, or just the two out in front? I'm gonna say everybody, since I bet Cassius would call down the tunnel that he's under attack. <laughs> Seems I... unlikely that he wouldn't. Present, Rin, and Theric all have a plus four to their initiatives. I, 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 see you guys... Cass, I see you, Cassie, is trying to beat me. You better cut that out. <laughs> what? Why are you fucking kidding me? I I know, I got a plus 12. You're I don't know if you guys, I I don't know if you guys can see the actual number, but the guy that you're fighting rolled a negative one for his. <laughs> <laughs> for his oh, if I have a plus 4 to mine, I got a 12. Or, yeah, 12. Okay. 12 for Theric. Uh, brings me up to 20. 20 for Crescent. Uh, and Rin, that must bring you to a 20, what, a 25? Mm-hmm. Uh, Lou, do I need to adjust yours or does it do it automatically? Uh, mine is uh, calculated. Okay. Uh, in that case, and Nenra, I don't know why I didn't start with you. There we go. Then Enra, you hear Cassius call out from down the hall. Cassius, what do you say? Um, um, I'm being attacked by a goober, but I think I got it. By a by an uber? A goober. A goober. A big booger. Yeah. Big booger. Unless it looks like a snake. It looks like a pseudopod. Oh, it does actually. <coughs> Interesting. But you know, I'll, I'll slime. Me or I'll move coming up my here. thirty feet, and I know he said he's got it, but I will take. Hey, do what you do. My action shot. I'm assuming he's not surprised. Oh no. Take that off. Also, Anenra, you will need to note that you did not recover any of your arrows that you used in the last battle. Touche. So, uh, just nope. don't forget. I, I, well, yeah, I, honestly, I haven't been keeping track of my arrows anyway, so that's, thank you for reminding me. Uh, uh Let's say I used that many. Oh boy. 
I'm actually running pretty low on arrows. And I take my mm. shot. Mm. All right. 15 hits. All the damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, minus 35. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> Anedra, you're a little bit too far away to see, but Cassius, since you're up close and personal with it, you see when the arrow pierces into this thing, the arrowhead, the metal on the arrowhead starts to bubble and sizzle inside it. Can't even recover my arrows? What a dick. I will uh. fire again. Eighteen hits. Uh, just the twenty, not seventeen. Twenty is enough. You bring this thing down. Oh, Jesus Christ! Are you safe? I'm fine. Those were pretty close, but you seem to have gotten it. Cool. Yeah. Sorry about the closest. Are my arrows? <laughs> I need to get my arrows. I'm gonna come up there. Sure. I'm going to scoot up here. Okay. Um, I'm going to count this as out of combat, but I'm going to leave initiative up in case you guys find anything else. Probably. What happened to my chat bar? Does the water around us look like it's thinned out since one of these tackle things was defeated? Or is it so uh, goopy? Make a perception check. Second. Are any of my arrows recoverable? Uh, a non-magical ammunition made of metal that hits the ooze is destroyed after it hit dealing damage. Mm. What a mm. The 21. Uh, with a 21, um, you don't feel like the thing that you just fought is like this... The water around is not made of the same stuff. It was just hiding in the water, like flattened out in the water. Yeah. Uh, with a 21, you also notice that the water is slightly higher than when you got here. Oh. Hmm. It's now yeah. pro- now maybe up to your ankles. Okay. That's not great. Uh... Yeah. All right, I'm going to go on ahead if you guys ever catch up. Uh, actually, before you do, uh, Anenra. Mm-hmm. Yes. You're looking at this thing that uh, ate your arrows, and you think that it is remarkably similar to the goo you uh, scraped off your hands. <laughs> I remember after that, your, but I don't. After your weird dream. Hmm. Oh. Why am I? I remember having a dream, but I don't. You had a weird dream, and when you woke up, you had some sort of weird acidic ooze on your hands. Oh, and then shit. you, you kind of you yeah. sacrificed an old suit of armor to try and make a container for it. Oh, that? that's right. Yep, Wait. I do remember that. So this ooze that. is very similar that. to that. All right, I just didn't contemplate on it. Okay. Um, so still trying to come up with conclusions. All right, Cassius, you can move ahead if you like. So I'll, I'll actually yes, fall sir. behind Cassius, letting him scout, because I'm just in thought. All right, Cassius, stop there. Uh, Cassius, when you get to that corner, you can see, kind of right here, you see a shape like a humanoid shape, but it's a little bit, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what it is. It looks almost a little bit out of focus and like it's floating. Hmm. Oh. Like floating in the air above, in like like standing upright, but off the ground, like hovering kind of. Oh, weird. Um, do, do. I'll 
lob a firebolt at it. Okay. Maybe. Oh, that does not look like I'm going to make it. 13. All right. With a 13, you lob this firebolt, and it bursts against something almost like it hit a wall right before it hit the figure. And then you are kind of. And then you are suddenly going to hear a voice in your head go, Ow, ow, what? Why would you do? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? (laughs) Jesus. Sorry. I thought you were a ghost. The figure is going to move a little bit towards you. And it's going to say, A ghost? No, I'm not a ghost. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a token out for it so that you can see where it's at. <laughs> uh, uh, as it gets a little bit closer to you, you can tell that it was at one point a drow. Oh, but now, but now it looks very dead. Like you still got a little flesh bit- on him. Make me a perception check. Oh boy. My, my perception. Not bad. 24. Okay. Um, the flesh is there, but it seems to be kind of melting off of him slowly. And now that you're kind of closer to it, you can see that uh, there's some equipment in there that is just kind of also floating not in his hands, but like just nearby him. Like you see a sword, and you see him, and you can actually with a twenty-four, you're going to tell that uh, his skin is melting off, but his armor looks untouched. Oh. Okay. Well, you don't seem to be a ghost, but what are you? A ghost? No, I'm. I'm an ooze. Look I like, guess. Look, look like an a me, except you're melting. Oh, actually, I didn't notice that that was well within the check. Um, with the twenty four, now that you're getting a really close look at it, you're gonna see that it's not a drow on its own at all. It's in something, and you can just kind of barely make out the glisten of what looks kind of like water, like a solid wall of water. And you see, it's basically a cube taking up this whole space. <laughs> okay. Did, did we just enter the... I reincarnated okay. as a slime? Oh, yeah. Is what okay, what are okay, you doing okay. here? Uh, we are... Why would, why would you well, hit me with... Why, why did you hit me? I hit you because I thought you were a ghost. I didn't, I didn't know that you were a slime. Lime ooze person being. We're just oh. looking for passage uh, to Blinkton Stone, but I do apologize for hitting you. I'm going to switch his token around here so that you can actually see how much space he's taking up. Oh, that's a lot of space. <laughs> so he's there now. Um, the oh. voice. The voices in your head is going to say, and actually, everyone within 60 feet can hear the voice, so I think that's everyone. Yeah, you're all hearing the voice. Um, He's going to say, well, um, this is my house. I just sort of woke up here a little bit ago. Um, Oh, I I didn't know. I guess. Uh, Therak, do you want to make either a history or an arcana check? I'm going to go with arcana. And give myself guidance. Ah, I finally remember to have that. (coughs) Uh, Therak, with a 22, you know that slimes and oozes can't talk. Um, 
I would just kind of whisper to whoever's next to me here. Just say, uh, hey, you think it's weird this thing is talking? Are they not supposed to be able to? I mean, normally I can see just about everything, but uh, yeah, I can't see. Yeah, I don't think that sounds normal of what they should be able to do. Maybe it's something else. Um, Theric, you know that a normal ooze of virtually any variety has absolutely no intelligence at all. Like, it, it just moves and consumes. It doesn't have thoughts, it doesn't have feelings, it doesn't have any sort of thing like that. Like, not even the most basic thoughts and feelings. It just moves and consumes. Um, hearing this voice, Lou's going to walk forward, but before he okay. does, uh, uh, he's going to cast Detect Magic. Okay. Uh, so when you get up there right behind him, uh huh, can you see him from there? Yeah, you can see him well enough. Um, his token doesn't fit super well when it gets, uh, tight here, so I'm just gonna... Anyway, uh, when you get up there, you can see that inside him, the armor of the drow and the sword in there start to glow. And then the voice is gonna go, <laughs> that tickles! Hmm. <laughs> What's happening? So, he... You have not always been an ooze, have you? Well, I, I don't know. I was all I, I just woke up here a little, I don't know, a while ago. Not that long. I've just kind of been hanging out in here. Oh, man. What do you remember from before that? I don't remember anything. Do you know how long you've been? Uh, you guys keep asking me that question, and uh, they don't mm -hmm. have days down here. <laughs> so. <laughs> I feel like a long time, short time. Um, it feels like a short time, I guess. Well, I am sorry for intruding upon your home. We're just trying to go by. Hello. Are you going to bite us? Because I'd rather not do that. Uh, well, mad when you hit me, but you seem pretty friendly afterwards, so roll me a quick perception check, or a uh, persuasion check. Yeah, boy. Oh. I'm glad it's you uh, and not me. That's the 12. You know what? I'm going to use, use a luck anyway. Let's try and get better. Ooh. Thank Says you. It was kind of rude that you did that, but, you know, you've been pretty friendly since then, so I guess we can be friends. I don't have any friends. It sounds like something I want, though. Do you want to follow us? Uh, okay. I mean, as long as you don't eat us or our, our companion, you can, you can have, like, monsters, food... That's what you eat, eat, I'm guessing. I, I don't move very fast, but all right, I'll. I'll... He's going to back up. I said he's going to back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Do <Dude>, move. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems nice. All right. Well. It's there's some pretty hey guys, nice friendly guys got... around, but, you know, they're... They don't talk to me. I tried uh, to be friends, and they, they were not very nice. Uh, I'm going like to walk up to them and uh, use five point, uh, five points of my lay on hands to, to, to give him a little bit of heal and be like, well, maybe, you know, this can help us be better friends. I'll go ahead and heal you up from that mishap earlier. Uh, does Lou wear gloves? Uh, no, he does not. Okay. Uh, 
hey, huh. hey, what the <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I accidentally did a lot of damage to him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, so, was Dexter in here? Jesus. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, Lou, you are... Like. <laughs> Almost. I, I took him to zero HP. Uh, Lou, you are going to take four acid damage when you touch him. Ooh. Mm. He hurts just to touch him. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Did that hurt you? I didn't mean to. Oh, no, it's all right. Uh, from what I can gather, it seems to be your anatomy. Nothing that you tr- that you meant to do maliciously. No harm done. Okay. You don't seem to be able to eat inanimate objects, like that armor and weaponry in there. So I'm guessing you oh, just I eat... I, I'm, I eat organic <laughs> stuff. Yeah, you know, the mm-hmm. bugs and... And little creatures that run through here, I just kind of munch on them. Well, it was really hard, hard to see your cubeness, so you're pretty stealthy. Well, as long as I'm not moving, I'm in, indistinguishable from. Uh, uh, oh, no. Virtually <laughs> anything, I guess. <laughs> well, that's awesome. If you want to follow us, feel free to. Just okay. You don't eat my friends. Um, everybody, make a quick perception check. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This was why Lou wasn't in charge of navigation. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Give myself guidance. Okay. Okay, so I don't. I, I, I don't think it's going to help there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you pulled one. Uh, you found one in the in the uh, garden where that uh, that drow was being eaten by mushrooms. Mm. Oh, shit, that's right. Uh, so Lou, you don't notice. Uh, Rin, you don't really notice, and Theric, you definitely don't notice. Um, but everybody else, the uh, the water is now. It's a little bit higher. It's now just a little past your ankles. Uh, Mr. Slime, hmm. what's going on with this water? Oh, my name's Glabagool. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? My name's Glabagool. Glabagool. That is the greatest name I've ever heard. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you're my friend. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Glabagool. Glabagool, what is going on with this water, good sir? <laughs> I just started pouring in here a little while ago. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like it's it's rising, I guess. Is is this you're doing from consuming the organics? Nope. You happen to it know where mean. it's. Do you happen to know where it's coming in from? Uh, it looks like it's just coming through the cracks in the walls and kind of the ceiling. Feelings in here are ten uh, feet high, by the way. Okay. Oh boy, that's not good. Mr. Gavagul. Mm-hmm. Do you know of any other creatures that live in this cave? Uh there's a couple more oozes up here, but uh they don't talk to me. I tried to talk to them and, and they were just gave me the, the silent treatment, I guess. So rude. Are there more beings like you anywhere close by so we don't accidentally Try to barbecue one of you? No, no, no one talks to me down here. Awesome. This place is just full of rumors. Is there a way, is there a way out up ahead? Like a way out? I mean, bigger cavern. I can squeeze through the cracks a little bit, but they don't really go anywhere. Oh, that's not good. No. Enra, you saw another. Or path did that have an ending to it, or uh, did I see anything over there? Did it look like, I mean, it looks like a dead end on the dead end on the map, but uh, you, you did not. Your... Okay. You did not see anything that looked like a tunnel. No, I think it was a dead end in my way. That's why I came over here. Well, I guess that leaves us with just going forward. Then can I? 
like feel around the walls for any like maybe secret mm. entry doors uh, or anything. Make a the levers. Check. What is that? All right. With a twenty-seven, you don't feel any triggers or anything like that for a for a secret door. Um, mm. When you poke around the walls, though, you can see that the water is flowing faster and faster. And when you poke into certain ones, a little bit of debris will come out, and then the water is just kind of shooting out through there. I think we're under some kind of river or water. We need to find a way out fast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, forward we go, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, Glavagul. Oh, okay. Cassius, when you go up there, Glavagul's going to say, oh, wait, hang on! And then all of a sudden... <laughs> can, you, uh, can, a, can you tell your friends to right, not well, attack us? There. A right. pseudopod is going to pop out of the ground and take a I swing at that. you. Bring it on. Bring it on, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, uh, roll did not go through. There it goes. Uh, does a 17 hit your armor class? Nope. Okay, okay like so it. this thing pops out, and you're going to see another one pop up behind it, and they are moving towards you. So that means uh, it would be Cassius's turn in combat. Awesome. Since uh, we kept initiative. I don't know. There we go. Labagool, do you know these things? Is it okay if I kill them? They're the ones that don't talk to me. Gotcha. Well, then they're definitely going to die. Um, I'm going to swing around this guy here. here and then... Make my knife. I'll make an attack with the Viper. 22. 22 definitely hits. Uh, I don't think that's sneak attack, though. Uh, yeah, no sneak attack. So we'll take some 15. Yep. Oh, you know what? I didn't put them in the turn order. That's silly. You silly dude. And then... <laughs> Bonus action, I'll try to strike him with that. With an 18. Okay. 18 definitely hits. And that is. Just quickly. 12, so 11. 11 inch. Um, yep, and he makes a save. Con save of 18, otherwise, he takes an additional. No, uh, con saves are like the only thing they're good at. The 23. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. Cool. Alrighty. That's it for. Uh... Right. In that case, Rin. Dodge and a bonus. Up ahead. No, that was my bonus action. But I'm good. I'm good. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Rin, you are up. Okay. So. Can't see shit, so I'm gonna just move right here. <clears throat> um, here, and uh, I'm gonna rage. And this is slashing damage, is it not? <laughs> yes. I always love that question. Uh, oh, actually, these ones don't have that feature. Interesting. Carry on. 
Uh, you do a bunch of damage to it, but it is still trying to wrap its weird, sticky self around Cassius. Uh, Twelve hits. Uh-huh. That is enough to bring this one down as you stomp it into a gelatinous puddle. Is that it for Rin's turn? I'm oh, gonna okay. yell out to Lou. I need you to light! I need the light! I, I can't see! <laughs> and then I, I am returned. Alright, and it is then Lou's turn. Uh, hearing the call out, Lou is going to bonus action bunny hop over Anenra and then run into the room with the torch. Uh, okay, and then seeing just this last guy, I'll finish my movement up here and I'll swing down on this guy twice. Okay. Unless I kill him in one shot. You never know. If I see those green numbers, anything's possible. Uh, 16 definitely hits for 17 damage. With that Seven enough. Lightning. Yeah. 11 lightning. Uh, God, that sword is oh. so great. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Might have a thing. <laughs> a thing? Nah, it's not worth using an inspiration on this. Okay. Eight hits. Oh, and eight hits. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that. I think. I feel like they have the lowest AC in the game, don't they? Have an AC of eight. <laughs> I don't really right. know. Three other creatures that have, that have that bad of an AC. Yeah, neither. I can't think of it. I didn't even think that eight was the lowest. I thought nine was the lowest. Eight is not the lowest armor class in the game. What? Oh, gods. What's what has lower? I'm not telling. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Uh, um, Lou, are you finished with your turn? I am. And that'll bring why us to why do I have a feeling it's our friend? Yeah, uh, that was what? my question. When uh, Crescent, or, uh, Cassie's walked away, oh. did it look like the pod came from Gavagul, or did it look like it come from somewhere else? Uh, it came from in this room up ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna uh, 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 so we can see what's going on. Uh, how did it say I moved 100? And... Because since I left you guys an in initiative, it uh, it counts your movement okay. until until your next turn. All right, so, so since he's there, I'm just gonna release the sacred flame, oh, Adam. The one next to you is dead, the one uh, yeah, the one yeah, by this one, okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Sacred Flame is a wisdom save, right? Uh, that is... Dex. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dex of 16. Ah, well, they are just as good at Dex saves as they are at wisdom saves. Wow, a 16. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Well, um, I'll just sit there and look pretty. All right. They have a minus two to their Dex. Uh, Damn. Theric, you are up. Wow. Uh, 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 Oh, one's dead? And the one closest to you is dead. The skull doesn't show up very well on them since most of their token's white. No, no the other one's near death. They are not strong. Yeah, let's just do a... Uh... In the bathtub. Right, we'll do my re- just reflavored name of told the I'm gonna tell the dead. I call it space time contortion. <laughs> wisdom of fourteen. Um, 
17. God dang. They are on fire. <laughs> they are not on to go down. No, that's the problem. They're not on fire. <laughs> oh. I'm going to chrono. Well, that's within oh. 30 feet of me, right? 5, 10, 15, 20. I think he's 25 from you. So Yeah, I'm going to use my last chrono shift to make him reroll. Okay. 16. Damn it. What's your DC? Uh, it's only 14 for the cleric. That's a cleric spell. I oh, think. I, I was like, that thought Wait. it was high. Hold on. Wait. So it gave me a couple. I think if you post Oh, no. Yeah, no. It, it should be 17. It has, it has, it has a version for cleric and wizard. So, yeah, no, it would be 17. Sorry. Okay, yeah, so then that second one would fail. Okay, perfect. So then 2d12. Wait. We're level. Ah, damn, it doesn't go up again until next level. So, five damage. All right. It is still kicking. You do anything else with your turn? Um, I'll just use my last movement to step behind her in case anybody needs to get past me or anything. No, I'm good. Wow, it does get a turn. Um, it is going to make an attack against Lou. And oh, miss with its first take over 40 damage. Does a 15 hit Lou these days? I don't think it does. No. No. All 15 right. has never It misses. <laughs> uh, it does if you're naked. <laughs> and Enra, you are up. Uh, Not with my shoe. I am actually going to hold my action. Hmm. Okay. What is your... I'm, I'm, I'm just going to skip a turn. You boys running really low on arrows, and these guys don't give me my arrows back. Do you want? Okay, I'm pretty useless right. without arrows, though. So. Uh, in that case, we'll go to Cassius. Awesome, awesome. So, wow. So, last one. And already, I will pop myself up here. And I will use my action to swipe out of my Piper. I mean, if you, it won't really matter, but uh, if you move over one, you'd gain advantage. Uh, 22 is definitely enough to hit, though. Okay. Uh, so that would be 14. Ben, they have an AC of 8, and he has 2 HP, so I was really not worried about you hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> That's thank goodness. Uh, uh. All right. You dab him, and he flows into a puddle on the ground. Uh, we're not going to need any more perception checks for this because it is now very obvious. The water is just about knee height for everyone but Rin. <laughs> Show off. Jesus. It is very oh, shortly yeah. going to become difficult terrain. I can't help but uh, be a bit beam tall. <laughs> I don't know how to think about how tall am I? Oh. I'll venture ahead, I guess. I don't mind. Oh, six foot. Whatever. Babagool starts coming up behind you guys. Uh, Theric, you're closest to the back, so you see when he comes up to this narrow hallway, he just kind of <laughs> gets skinny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lost some weight, buddy. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous. Aren't we all? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, okay, keep going as you go. Water uh, is still rising slowly. Gabagool, is there any more of your rude friends that live here? Yeah, there's still some around. Do you know oh. where they're hiding? Uh, well, they move around. That's mm -hmm. fair. Of course they do. All right. Uh, you I think guys I may have found where the water's coming in from. No, oh, boy. Or at least a large source of it. What is actually happening in there is the water is pooling. 
Mm. Oh. Mm. Uh, Glabagul also has a very, very slow movement speed, so he is definitely falling behind you guys. I'll, st- I'll okay. stay back. Okay. I'll protect so, him. Thanks. I don't go very fast. That's okay. You go as fast as you can, buddy. I've never befriended a slime before. This is really weird. Uh, Does it look like any, like, is there anyone, like, stuck in him that's actually talking for him? Mm. Nope. It's a telepathic voice in your head. Can I insight check to see if it's actually coming from the slime? Sure. I mean, the slime hasn't tried to kill us. He's... I No, I'm just curious. I'm not going to, like, turn on him or anything. It's a, senti- it's a sentient weapon and a very friendly slime. Surprise, right. motherfucker. Right. <laughs> uh, with a 12, yeah, you don't see any reason why the voice wouldn't be coming from it. All right. I'm just curious. Just trying to get info. Okay. He comes up. Uh, and, then, and then he's going to say, oh, the floor is kind of hollow up here. Hmm. Did, did you say hollow? Yeah. In those hallways, the floor gets kind of hollow. I can get down there if I squeeze. Oh, that's disconcerting. I'll run it past real quick. That remote doesn't work. I mean, what a breathing. So do we want to take separate paths? I don't know. Do you? So with my sea invisibility up, still up because it hasn't been an hour yet, do I see anything in this water? Nope. Or just in general? You see nothing that you don't see with your normal vision. Calvigal, which is the best way to go to get out of here? Beat me to it by like a second. There's there's not a door here. Um, Well, I mean, there is a door, but it doesn't go out. It just goes into the fountain room. Ooh. Where's that at? And a little... A little pseudopod is going to come out and point in this direction. Oh. It's over there. What? What's in this fountain room? Besides the fountain. fountain. God damn it. You weren't quick enough. I know. <laughs> uh, well, there's a fountain in there. Uh, there's a... On top of it, there's like a... Statue, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's that's just mostly a fountain. Did, did the slum just get Canadian for a second? A little bit. Hold on, let me put on my toque. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, a... Zach and Rin. <laughs> <laughs> I almost feel uh, ha- <laughs> feeling we got my have to like dive underwater and go through like a cave system underwater, but that just be a thought. Maybe. Uh, you want... Well, Cassius, do you want to try to go? See what this fountain sure. is about? Maybe it's a way to stop whatever's happening now? Although I, I, I have a feeling it might have had something to do with the whole smashy smashy crash when we were crossing the bridge. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as Maybe. I say that, I slap uh, Cassius on the back and cast Warding Bond. Ooh, what does that do? Okay. Oop, there it is. Uh, plus, uh, for the next hour, uh, plus one, while well, within 60 feet of me, he gets plus one to AC and saving throws, resistance to all damage, and any damage he takes, I take. Interesting. Like all of it. Mm-hmm. Like what? Well, so he has resistance. So if he takes, you know, twenty see, after it's been resisted, I take twenty. So he still takes the damage. It doesn't just go to you instead. I see. I see. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. What are you guys and doing? The water is walking down there. The water is All right. Uh, Lou, how much do you weigh? Uh, let's see. I actually have that in my description. Hold on. Approximately. I don't need an exact measurement. Lou weighs 119 pounds. Whatever. I'm calling. He's 120. He's lying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lou, you're the only one that I was thought might be lighter than normal since you're a rabbit. But... Uh, if I was small size, but I'm, I'm medium, so. All right. And I'm strength based, so. Gotta give me a little muscle. Very well. Hovering over deck save. Ignore this. Lou, stop. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Lou, as you walk through that area, the floor, the floor beneath you drops out. And oh, I need a no. deck save. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, all right. Definitely going to go ahead and use my lucky footwork. I don't think a 10 is going to pass it. I don't think a 12 is going to do it either. The DC is 11. Oh, oh my god, yes! <laughs> Damn. So, the water, or the floor, blows out underneath your feet, and you are able to just, with your with your quick rabbit uh, reflexes, hop across, since it's only a little five-foot square, and the water just cascades down in. But rising up from oh. underneath there... Uh, da, 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 da. You can't really see until it starts to come out. Why can I see all of my movement on this map? Because I left you an initiative. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, get it. Mine too. Yeah, cool. Rising up oh. is a black, inky, tentacle-looking thing coming out of the ground. Uh, Rin, why don't you back up one square there? There you go. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, it is Rin's turn in the combat order. Man, I thought that other ooze did bad. This one got a negative two on initiative. Yes. <laughs> has it been over a minute? It has definitely been over a minute. Okay. I, uh... I rage again. Um, um, first one? 14? 14 hits. Okay. Okay, stop. Stop it. All right. Uh, let me just do something real quick. Uh, don't roll another attack just yet. Okay. So, Rin, you slice your sword down on this thing. God. Mm -hmm. And you slice clear through it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> And in this its place it. are now two smaller black oozes. Oh, that's great. Oh, hold on. I need to. I need to adjust their health. They don't both get full. The full big health. Do it again. It's impossible for them to split again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is going to confuse it. Uh, okay, so there we go. And their health is adjusted. Okay, uh, Rin, still your turn. Uh, do you mm -hmm. want to take a slash at uh, the one in front of you there? 
Uh, I'm gonna punch it. No, no, I'm not. <sighs> Fuck. Um, uh... forgot how much I, fit, I hate fighting it oozes. Mm -hmm. just, just, just turn your sword 90 yeah. degrees and <laughs> slap it. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna punch it. I'm gonna fucking punch it. I'm fucking punching it. Do it. Okay. Uh, roll first. You, uh, we can use your dirty twenty for the for the hit. But yeah, you hit, so you'll do six damage to it. Uh, you are then going to take seven acid damage as you hit it. Because of your armor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have acid resistance. Acid. Is that it for Rin's turn? That's it for my turn. Hey, Lou, you are up. Well, having seen what happened when Rin slashed at it, I probably don't want to use my sword against it. Why not? Um, because uh... I'm not trying to make a thousand of these <laughs> things. <laughs> what? Um, I am not designed to take on oozes. Mm. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, putting my sword away, I am going to slam my fists together, casting uh, Spirit Shroud. Ooh, what does Spirit Shroud do? Uh, spirit Shroud is the one where uh, the, uh, the spirits of the dead surround me uh, and okay. allow me to do extra damage. Of either Radiant, Necrotic, or Cold. I think I'm going to go with Radiant <laughs> like I normally do. Uh, and any creature hit with this, uh, hit by an attack with this, cannot regain hit points. And if they start their turn within 10 feet of me, their speed is lowered by 10 feet. Okay. And then, I'm going to punch it. Do the punch. I don't have a weapon that doesn't deal slashing damage. Right, so I need this one. 17 definitely hits for 5 total damage. Yep, that's the 8. And I'll swing again. 15 definitely hits for a total of 4. And for each of those hits, you are going to take a total of eight, of 12 acid damage. Ouch. Okay. Uh, uh, that's, yeah, that's the end of my turn. All right. Crescent, you are up. Uh, seeing all this transpire and um uh, good where i'm at so i am actually going to cast moonbeam kind of right in between them kind of like right in here sure what's uh what's the radius on moonbeam uh it's five feet okay uh 16 uh, cons yeah it's one of those it's start or move into for the first time on their turn so when i cast nothing happens it just starts uh uh, where minutes. are you putting? Where are you putting it? Uh, it right in between, so like right here. You, you got to put it on a square. It's got to go on a square. Uh, it, it can't be in between two squares. My four understanding is four by four. 
Your understanding of what? Oh, right. radius, radius, not yeah. not total, right? Okay, yeah. So a five foot radius, then yeah, that would be enough to get both of them. Right. My mistake. Yeah, uh, that's what I was trying to put. In I between. was thinking five foot total. Yeah. So that way it would uh, okay. cover them, uh, but not the teammates. So. Okay, okay so too. in that case, con saves. Uh, what's it? it it's, it's a start of their turn or when they move in for the first they time. Both. Okay. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Uh, all right. Uh, is that it for Crescent? Um, yeah, I'm good for position. Actually, yeah, let me just here just for shits and giggles. Yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay, Therak, you're up. I cannot see anything that's going on, so no case. Oh, there's two. The bull was injured. There's people around, so I can't do that. Uh, I just told the dead the closest one. Okay. Wisdom 17. Eight. Okay. He's injured, but 2d12. 13 damage. That's a little better than the last one. Uh, what kind of damage is it? Uh, toll is... Necrotic. Uh... Yeah, necrotic, yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that it for Theric? No, uh, yeah. Right. This one, since it's closer to Lou as it comes out of its little hidey hole. Oh, uh, first gonna going to make an attack. First. Oh, oh, that's right. Do, do you want first. me to keep that damage, or do you want me to re-roll it? Uh, we can keep it. What, what was it? Seven. Well, he does fail, so he's going to take seven radiant damage. Mm -hmm. And Lou, he's under your effect where he can't regain hit points, right? Correct. Right. Uh, he is going to produce a little pseudopod and try and get you with it. Ooh, that's going to be a 24 to hit. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, that's going to hit. Ooh, black, black puddings are nasty. Uh, you are going to take five bludgeoning damage and 26 acid damage mm. for a total of 31. Oh, oh, no, I have a reaction. Shield. Wait, no, no, wait, I'm wearing the wrong armor. Never mind, no, that, no, uh, no, I, was, I, shield. I thought I, I thought I had plate armor. I don't have plate armor. <laughs> um, actually, hold on. You don't have a reaction. Yeah, fuck it. I'll silvery barbs it. Silvery barbs. He rolls again. Takes the lower. And then I'll give the advantage to... Um... An enemy. Advantage okay. of the next attacker saving throw. Uh -huh. Silvery bar barbs brings it down to a 16. Gonna miss with my 18 AC. Right. Uh, they don't get multi attack, which seems odd to me, but whatever. Uh, Rin. Does that do 40 damage attack? Right. Uh, Rin, you got one coming at you, uh, but he's it's gonna make definitely going to miss. He's got to make a con save, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's your DC? He rolls a 13. Uh, 16. Okay. How much damage? To, uh, 7. That's right. Yeah. Uh, he still, he survives, so he's going to keep his attack, which is an 11, which is definitely going to miss Rin. 
will bring us to Anenra. Oh, no, actually, sorry, Anenra. Since we're at the end of the round, um, Lou, from where you are, you can see, but down this other hallway, the floor, roughly even with the spot that you fell through, is going to open up. And coming up through the water that is kind of cascading down, you're going to see another of these oozes start to come out. But before it can, Glamagool is going to put himself over the top of the hole, mm. kind of sealing it in, and he's going to say, Don't hurt my friends! Thank you, Glamagool! And then, Rudd, you are up. Uh, I will actually hit that one with a... Flame arrow. Because why not? How many of those do you get... have? I'm looking right now. I want to get Glamagool a carpet of flying. Right. <laughs> he deserves it. Inventory. Flame arrows. You're not going to tell me how many? I think I gave you a bundle of ten. Something like that. But uh, just I just couldn't remember. Oh, wait, in our notes? Nope, I have 15. 15, okay, yeah. Anyhow, continue. Drop that to 14. Actually, I'll shoot two of them, so 13. Uh, do, do, do. Bring up the character sheet. I will go sharpshooter. This is technically my first round of combat in this one, right? Yes. I just left the... Yeah, this is a... Yeah, we'll call it that. Okay. So I'm uh, uh, just asking for my Gloomstalker. Yeah. Wow. Nine hits? Mm. Thank God. I'm going to roll that. And <laughs> the 2d6 for my fire. Be right back. My food's here. Okay, it's definitely more than enough to kill it. <laughs> so, uh, Lou, since you're right there, you're going to see this fire arrow. Like, you can't see through the ooze. But this arrow just comes through this ooze and starts to poke out the side on your side. And you can see that the... Uh... Oh, wait, do they dissolve? No, no, it's a magical... Yeah, so you can see that uh, this arrow is not being... Uh, corroded by the ooze. I can keep my arrow? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, and I will shoot the arrow. Get other. out of the ooze. That one is dead. You taking a shot at the other one? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hit. Uh, so no sneak no attack. Sneak attack. Oh, no, it's such a good one too. I gotta turn that off. My bad. So fire. twenty. Oh wait, two fire. Twenty one. Twenty six. Twenty six is enough to kill it. So it is now dead. And Lou, from where you're standing, you can see. You can see through Glabagool, so you can see this black pseudopod just like punching up into the bottom of him, trying to get through him, and he's just holding it down. Um, so, do you guys want to try and fight it, or do you want to move on? Because Glabagool is holding it off. It can't seem to get through him. And, okay, so... Sacred Flame doesn't doesn't spawn from you. Would I be able to... I, I missed that. What'd you say? Uh, Sacred Flame, it doesn't come from you like uh, Fireball or Firebolt. Um, so would I be able to, with it in range and me being able to see it, cast Sacred Flame underneath uh, Glabradoodle? <laughs> Glabradoodle. <laughs> Oh, I 
says, I'm bad with whose we names. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that would work because it doesn't come from you. Yeah, you're right. That would work. All right. Uh... So it's a deck save, and I'm going to give him disadvantage since he's stuck in that hole. Uh, that I'm going to be here two. for a while. A two does not pass, I would guess. It does not. The DC um, I'm move, 16. I'm going to move Glavagul just so I can get at his token here. So, nine damage. Uh, Crescent, would you mind coming over here and helping me with some Sacred Flame? Mm -hmm. Theric, if you have something that uh, you can use... The three of us just sitting around this hole like, bam, bam, bam. I mean, yeah, I mean, I could I'm just gonna... pull it. I could pull the dead it over and over. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna take us out of combat for that. If if that's how you guys are gonna do the situation, yeah, you fucking kill it. <laughs> it's yeah. it's oh, dead. Yeah. And We're all the while, uh, yeah. Lou is cheering on uh, Labrador. <laughs> Water stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad at names. I'm gonna try to get my arrows. Here, well, yeah. can, can you type it so I can put it in my notes? And obviously, I mean, it's, more, it's a little more fun if, to just see how you guys will type it, but, you know, I'll I'll put it in there just for you. I appreciate it. I mean, I, I spot Glabba it like cool. this. Glabba. Cool. I'm calling him Gabagool, like an Italian. Oh, Gabagool? Gabagool. You were, you were close. You had an extra H in there. Yeah. yeah. All right, the water is now waist high. What are you guys going to do? There's still a hole right here, right? Yes, but the water is high enough that you can basically swim over the top of it at this point. Okay. How many did I get my arrows back? Was I uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say you were able to get both of them back since they're magic, they were not destroyed by the ooze. Are they still technically fire arrows? They sure are. Hmm. All right. Let's move on and try to get away out here. Yep. Uh, Did you not take an action? I want to check the door for traps. Roll me an investigation check, please. The door does not appear to be trapped. All right, I open it. Okay, open it. Oh, yeah, it's one of these ones. Ooh. Fireball! <laughs> All right, so as you enter this room, uh, make me a quick perception check as you enter. Fourteen. Right, okay. I'm starting to pay so attention. In the center of the room, <clears throat> I might joke here, at the center of the room, you see the remains of what was once a pretty intricate fountain, but time and things have damaged it pretty badly. Um, there was at one time a statue on the top, but it has basically crumbled to nothing, except for the feet of the statue, which are a pair of clawed feet that are just clutching the top of the pedestal uh, top here, from what you can see. Uh, with a 14, you see in each of these little niches are uh, they're, they're sculptures, but they don't seem to be of anything. They're just like amorphous like globs of statue. Uh, I don't like the looks of those. Glabagool coming up behind you is going to say, yeah, this is the fountain room. All right. Um, I'm going to cast another Detect Magic because I had cast Spirit Shroud. Um, you do not get any magic off of anything in here. Oh. Lou is legitimately surprised. 
Does it look like the fountain is the source of this water, or if it is, is that also is this pooling there? Um, at this point, a lot of the fountain is underwater. Um, and go ahead and make me a quick perception check, Crescent, since you're in here now. Twenty-five. With a twenty-five. You can see that there is a lot of water coming down from the ceiling onto the fountain, more than you've seen in other places. Um, and it looks like there's a hole up there, but radiused out from the hole is like a spider web of cracks in the ceiling. Hmm. And Lou, I kind of forgot that uh, this was how we were dealing with your divine sense, um, but in here, you are getting. Not a lot, but you are definitely feeling some demonic presence in here. Do we know when we fell down into this area, do we know how far we actually fell or have a feeling? It was a, it was a long way. Like you didn't fall straight down. You kind of slid for a lot of it, but you fell a long way. It would have been impossible to know exactly how far, but a long time. Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> There's things I want to try, but I don't know if it's the best thing. Um, how tall is everyone? Six foot. Five five. About five ten. Five, uh, Lou is six two without his ears, six nine with his ears. Oh dang, Lou's much taller than I thought. Yeah. All right. Water I is don't... getting pretty. I mean, you're a Goliath, so you're somewhere between seven and eight feet. That's <laughs> you're real tall. Um, most for most of you, the water is starting to kiss the bottom of your chin a little bit. Have we tried searching for hidden switches? Um, and then, Ra, make me an investigation check. And then describe to me exactly how you're looking for things. I move over to him and give him guidance. If I'm not by him, I haven't moved my token. I stepped away from my computer for a second. How dare you step away from your computer? <laughs> I got shit to do, man. 29. <laughs> 29. Okay, you are looking through this area. I am swimming um, and feeling with my hands. Okay. When you touch one of those statues, looking, you know, behind it, looking around, mm -hmm. um, as soon as you touch it, it liquefies and just pushes into the water. Mm -hmm. And as it does, it is the same consistency as those, uh, uh, not the black puddings, but the other oozes that you were fighting earlier. It doesn't come alive, but it looks like it was at one time one of those. Uh, you do not find any switches. Um, but with that big of an investigation check, you do notice now that you can kind of bob in the water a little bit if you want, you're looking at the ceiling. That hole in the middle looks... Um, it looks like it's there on purpose. It does. It's not a hole that just caved through, but the cracking around it looks like something impacted it from the, maybe from the top, and like the whole ceiling is kind of bowed in a little bit, like it's collapsing slowly. Can I reach it or no? Uh, at this point, the water is deep enough that if you kind of like got down in it and jumped out of it, you could probably reach it. Hmm. 
can I do that? Well, I'm not very strong, but I'm gonna try to uh, hit it with a sword. I'm gonna say you jump up. You kind of get a little bobbing jump out of the water and smack your sword into it. It doesn't do a lot, but a chunk where you hit does fall down into the, into the room with you. Does it look like it opened opened up, or is it just more? The spot that you hit, more water is coming out. So now the water is coming from the hole, seeping from everywhere. So you know you have two major sources of water entering this room. Well, shit. Gabagool, what, what what do you know about this place? Help us out here, bud. I haven't really come into the fountain room. It makes me feel weird. Like how? Uh, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like... Like I kind of lose control of my body a little bit, I guess. Can you start dancing? No, I'm just like moving around in places that I wasn't sure I wanted to go. Do you touch anything when that happens, or does it just happen when you come in here? It just sort of happens when I come in there. It doesn't feel good. Yeah, no, I'm stumped. Yeah, I don't know. Do we want to? Do we want to <laughs> bash the ceiling more and try to swim out, or find a different way? I mean, theoretically, if that's where the water is coming from, or one of the places it's coming from, what if it's just a ton of water? And then we drown. Well, we'll have to wait for this room to fill up, and then swim up. I'm going to say the water is now deep enough that you cannot touch bottom. You're all kind of bobbing. Except for Rin, because she's very tall. I'm tall too, Dan. I'm a bugbear. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot you were a bugbear. I, I'm and I'm tall, tall and skinny for a bugbear. I don't remember if I wrote right. down how tall, but whatever the top end of a bugbear is, that's where he is. Rin and Theric can kind of just barely touch bottom, but uh, everybody else is starting to swim a little bit. Yeah. Stop height shaming. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, tiny little bugbear. <laughs> Yeah, it's the only thing I can think of. So, so the only thing apparent is that the only thing that stood out to Enenru is the, nice. the the spot in the ceiling that he broke a chunk off of, and more water came out. Uh, yeah, as far as I can, I think that's uh, yes, <laughs> yes. What did the thing in the ceiling look like again? It's a... There's a man-made hole in the middle of the ceiling directly over the fountain. And that is where a lot of the water is coming from. But spider webbing out from the hole is a bunch of cracks as though it took a big impact. And from when an Enro was able to get up and knock his sword on, he knocked a little chunk loose and now water is coming from where he hit also. Um. So there's a hole, an actual hole, but water's like pouring out of it, like in a mm-hmm. torrent. Yep. And and all around us, like in the other area, is that all the same water level, or is this noticeably deeper? Uh, no, it is all more or less the same water level. So, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to just stay here and let it fill up, or do we go back to this lake of? Water? Oh, it's already filled up. You guys are barely floating. Uh, I, mean, you guys I, can, are... uh, I, I can summon my tower and buy us twenty-four hours and let it fill up and see what happens. Hmm. 
I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it'll be a place where you can dry off. How tall is, how tall is your tower? Uh, it depends on what level I want to cast it at. I mean, if we're going to be in there for 24 hours, I'd probably cast it at a fifth level, which would be... How tall is the is the room, actually? 10 feet. Oh, it's only 10 feet? Uh-huh. Um... You know, if we stay in the spot for a year, uh, cast the spell every day. It'll be here forever. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> I, can buy, I can buy us at least an hour. That's about it. I so I'm good at smashing things. So Ther- Theric would know this. I don't. So it just says you conjure uh, two stories the minimum. So it'd be taller than the room. What well, what would Theric think would happen if he did that? And it's only a 10 foot tall room. Um, it would either burst through the ceiling or the floor. Well, guys, I can. Um... I can use rope trick to buy us an hour. I think we need to find the flow of the water and we need to get out. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if I I can so I can do my I could make my tower into a third, so I could do four stories. But the question would be, well, it, so it takes me ten minutes to cast. Yeah, would there be enough time that we could get into it before it burst through, possibly whichever direction it went? If it takes ten minutes to cast, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the uh, initiative. Um, it takes ten minutes to cast. I'm gonna say that the water will be just just barely not at the ceiling. Like you guys are gonna have your faces pressed against the ceiling well, to breathe. Would Tiny Hut be? Uh, well, I, I would know, but would Tiny Hut? Um, is that air type bubble? A uh, tiny hut would trap any of the water that's there when you cast it in it. You would have to cast it out of the water. Yeah, and we would run out of air pretty quickly. Um, it, it, actually, I should be able to conjure the tower around us. Uh, yeah, I think I remember who said it, but seeing where the wa- which where the water's flowing, go with that. My tower theoretically will bust through. Unless anybody has any objection, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Go for it. I mean, if that's what you're doing, while you're doing that, I want to take a closer look at the fountain. All right, then I would start. I would I would start casting. I would uh, stay stay within. Actually, you got um. It's a ten. Each floor is ten by ten. Can we grab close to... enough that I could cast this around? Cast it around. Actually, well, I'd be swim. I could, I'll, I'll be swim. I'd have to be swimming above. To, so yeah, some people are going to have to be under you to make that happen. And can anybody hold their breath for ten minutes? We don't have to be dry the entire ten minutes. We just have to. We just have to be down there as you finish casting. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I would I would get up above so I'd be in air so I could speak the spell and tell everybody yeah, when I give the signal it's about to finish to so get get directly underneath me within okay. ten feet of in a ten foot square. Oh, and I would okay. catch it at, at fifth level to make a forty foot tall four story tower. Okay, um, Lou, what are you looking for on the fountain? Like how how are, what are you looking for here? Um, I don't know. I want to see if there's any markings or, uh, because um, Anenra did an, uh was looking for switches along the outside, so I figure maybe there's something on the stat on the fountain. Uh, give me an investigation check, man. 
<laughs> yeah, that's about right. Oh, that didn't come through for me yet. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, with an eleven, you're not really able to tell more than you already know. Um, it's a heavily, heavily damaged. Um, you don't see any sort of switches. You, you're not gleaning any clues from the fountain. Um, yeah, not not really a lot here for you, other than the clawed the clawed feet gripping at the top. So, can, from where we're at, can we touch this ceiling? Oh yeah, at this point, yeah, you can touch the ceiling easily. So once uh, Theric is starting to cast his, uh, his tower, can I start trying to mend some of these cracks to buy him some more time? Does mending work on natural objects or only... Uh... As it says, repair a single break or tear in an object you touch, such as a broken chain, two halves of a broken key, or torn cloak. Uh, or mending requires you. Mending requires you have all of the pieces of the broken object, so you'd have to get the rocks that have been split away and fallen to and put them back in order to put them back together. We had fabricate. Do you have fabricate? Well. I think my foundry just froze. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, I could have I could have walled walled the force to stop it from coming in, but that would be a very short term solution. What about Mulder? Sorry, I, to... I mean, you say short term solution, but what happens if we get into this tower? We come out and hey, there's still a ton of water in here. Well, the ho no, that, what the hope is it's going to push through somewhere, either get it to get us access up above or push us down below and get us out of here. I don't think it's going to happen in this room if that happens. Everything in this room seems like it's pretty well sealed off. I'd say our best bet is probably back over here where it was pooling up. You're saying that this is not the room where it happens? This is not the room where it happened. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you think there's a better place to do it, I'm definitely open to walking over there wherever. I mean, at this point, you're not walking or, anywhere. Or swimming, swimming over, rather. <laughs> Very. Yeah, I, I feel like getting us to... I don't know. I, I feel like getting us to a better poised location for specifically uh, Crescent and I, because of our heavy armor, it's hard enough keeping our heads above water, but one, like, for air, once the air is gone, it's going to be much harder for us moving. Well, what if What if we go back to the up a little bit and to the right to where the three intersections are just kind of an open area there maybe that'll be a better yeah this area here to, yeah is the water and we, and we, this high in the whole place or just in this room the whole place yeah that's why we need to get out of here there's nowhere we're going to drown so And we and we and we can get to back to this room. Gabigal. Yeah. Is he still in here? Yeah, he's right here. Can he squeeze in that little hole I made that the water's pouring through? Mm. Sure. He'll can you tell us if there's a way out up there? He'll slime his way into the room. God, my my forge is going slow as fuck. Mine was kind of doing that yesterday too. Hmm. Well, anyway, he's I had quick. issues with the carousel too, which was annoying. Uh, he's gonna kind of ooze his way into the room, and you're gonna just see him get up on that hole and just sort of <laughs> suction his way through. Do you have time to back again? You're welcome. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm all about the sound effects. Somebody, oh, wait, somebody capture so that in the recording. Right. We'll post it. <laughs> So he's gone for some some time. Uh, Theric, are you still casting your spell? Um, looks yeah, like he how, abandoned how, it. How long? How long has it been? No, I can uh, I can move while I'm casting. Can I? But you you were not going to cast it in this room. Is that what I uh, understood? Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I thought. They made a good point about this not being the best room to do it in. 
Okay. Because if you wait for Glavagul to come back, then you are not going to have time to cast that spell. He will come uh, back. I will, I will give you that. But... I'm not waiting. No, I'm not waiting for Gabagool. I told her. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm casting it in the re- where we're at. Uh, yeah, if, if I'm going to run out of air and then lose the option to cast it, then I got nothing. So. I'm going to... I'm going to reload Forge because nothing is going very quickly here. No, um, Cassius might want to get in the, get like we said, when that tower happens, because I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, so you cast your spell over the 10 minutes, and whoa, my screen just went black. <laughs> I want my to fucking, wait for My D&D I, Beyond is working fine. Whatever, I'm uh, if, I, so, if I lose air, I lose the spell, and I can't do anything, and we're going right. to the ground. Keep casting. I can always swim to the castle, right? It's not like the castle's going to disappear on me. Uh, if it bursts through the floor, perhaps, like if the ceiling's stronger than the floor, it's going to go through the floor, the water's going to go out in torrent, and it's probably not going to be good times for you. You're going to want to be in the door. <laughs> I would Is think. Anyone- is anyone going to stay outside of the tower? No. Does it look like Gobblegool is coming back anytime soon? I mean, I'm going to tell you that Gobblegool Glob- would come back in like five minutes. So enough time where you would still have air, but not enough time to also cast the spell and have air. Does that make sense? Well, I'm not worried about him casting the spell. I'm just like... Gobblegool is coming back. You are the only people he knows. Uh, if he speaks telepathically, I'm going to try to reach out and just be like, I have to leave the room. I'm going to try to get to that building that our buddy is making. Please come back. Okay. Uh, you don't get a response. Maybe come back. I love you, Gabagool. All right. So I will hold out. So I will hold out as long as I can, keep trying to sending that message until he's just about to cast a spell. Okay. So just a, just like a minute before uh, Eric finishes his spell. God, this is still not loading up. What the fuck? Um, you're going to get a response on the on your telepathic thing here. And you're going to hear Glavagul, and he's going to say, so if you come up here through the ceiling, then you end up in the bottom of a little bit, like a little lake, and you can get up there. Good. And, yeah. And then he's going to just ooze his way back down through the hole into the room with you, which is almost full. I will... And then Theric's castle, or tower, pops into existence bursting through the ceiling of this area, causing water to immediately, completely fill the room. Which um, wasn't much more. So, does your tower have solid walls? Or can you see out? Um, it says it's made of stone, wood, or similar suitably sturdy materials. I would... I would picture if you would allow it, it would be uh, like the outer walls would be like crystal that we could see through, or there would be window. Actually, it'd just be stone with window with glass. Well, no, because that could shatter. Wait, I didn't realize. Would could it? Could I do exterior walls of like a, a translucent crystal that we could see through? Yeah, I'd allow that. Um. So. Your tower pops into existence. Your tower is completely submerged. It is completely underwater. Even at 40 feet tall. Um, If you go to the top of the tower, uh, Crescent, since you've got all that dark vision, Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that uh, the water is now still. And you can see up into the water, and you see surface up there but it is pretty close to the outer range of your vision. Hmm. Um, the top floor would have a, would have an observatory with a telescope if that would help him see, like, be able to tell, like, how far. 
Um, so makes nobody has me... an idea how far away the surface would be. I'm going to check what that be. And water isn't coming in this tower, right? Uh, my understanding is the tower is impervious, right? Um, well, it's warm and dry regardless of conditions outside. Um, I mean, you said it warm and dry. Yeah, exactly. The key word is dry, no matter the conditions yeah. outside. If it's underwater, yeah. it's still dry. That's why it's still dry. dry. Look at the other parts, see if there's anything. I don't know what is, what the fuck is going on with my forge here. Why don't you just link the spill? And, and no, there's nothing else to it. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, we would be warm and dry. And there would okay. be a, a bedroom, a study, a dining room, and the observatory. So, Crescent, I'm going to say... Judging distance, would that be a survival check? Or... Maybe if, if you're trying to discern Generally. distance, you maybe it'd be survival perception. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm I feel actually like survival. survival. I'm flipping yeah. and flopping between survival and perception. I, I'm uh, thinking about my uh, old uh, orienteering teams in ROTC, like all that stuff. Compass, direction. That's yeah. Land really nav. survival. Yeah. All right. Give me a survival check, and you're going to have to tell me what it is, because my page is still not fucking loading. Sure, and I'll give myself guidance on top of it. Okay. Can I give you guidance, too? Oh, Double the guidance. guidance does not stack. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately I'll, not. I'll let you stack guidance if I can double poison you. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, That's a 19. No, no That's thing. excessive, sir. <laughs> double poison? <laughs> You are double poisoned. Jeez, one hit was going to be like 31 damage. That was acid damage. <laughs> no, that's, that's not at all the same. It's a 19. 19. All right, with a 19, you're going to guess that this is about 200 feet above where you are. But you can see that the room or the the surface that you see up there is considerably narrower than the room, the cavern that is full of water, right? So it kind of tapers to the top and opens into a small area. Mm -hmm. But either way, you're going to have to get up 200-some feet through the water. And if you don't have, you don't have a swim speed, it's difficult terrain, right? Mm -hmm. So the way what? that I'm thinking about this is going straight up like you float unless you're wearing heavy armor yes, what's at least two of us so are. so you'd be able you'd have to come up with something for your guys in heavy armor but everyone else as long as you take a deep breath it's more of how long can you can you hold your breath you're not actively swimming to the top. You're just trying to get there. Would Bigsby's hand help in any way? Yes, it would. Should. I mean, yeah, you can use it to push someone or grab someone. Yeah. And I can move it with me. So, And it's got a strength of like 28. Should be able to carry our two heavy-plated dudes. Guys, guys, I can cast Counterspell. Well, well, I'm so confused. Well, then I could counter your counter spell. So <laughs> made my head hurt. Oh, wait, wait. it's it's telling me that the uh, forge server's down. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Mine's been saying it's been it's disconnected a few times, but it, but it, it's connect reconnected right away. Um, again, so Theric would know this, I wouldn't. So if I waited till right, no, it's not concentration. If, if I were to make a, uh, do a, make a sphere of wall of force around us, would it stay fixed or would the air trapped within theoretically move us up through the water? A wall of force um, is not a sphere. A wall of force specifically states that it is a half spherical dome. 
Uh, it says, or a sphere with a radius of up to 10 feet. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I'm looking right at it right now. Uh-uh. Why am I finding out all this shit recently? Right? What? Like, you know, I've had, yeah, I've had, yeah. I've had, yeah, yeah, you know, I've had DMs puzzle. screwing me over. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. It can be free floating. So, I would I say, yeah. if if it's full of air, then yeah, I would think that it would be able to float. Hmm. Yeah. So I, I can't end the tower early. It goes for 24 hours, so we can uh, chill and make... there should be food in this. No, no, just cooking utensils and stuff. Yeah, we chill here for 24 hours, and then when it's getting ready to run out, right before it does, I yeah make a sphere around us and hope we pop to the surface like a cork. And, <coughs> and I would need a long rest to do it anyway. But I said, we're here for 24 hours unless we leave sooner. That seems a lot easier than that. Can Gabagool come in? Yeah, any sign of him? Any word from him? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah um, he, he told me about the lake. He, well, he I mean, I, I sense the tower first through. Since you can see through the tower, you can see that drow body that was inside Glavagul kind of floating around, and periodically you just hear a bing, bing, bing. Can, can I come in? And did you guys, you guys, can you, you guys okay through, in there? Can you slip through the cracks? I don't believe there are any cracks. Shit. If we open the door, the water's going to come rushing in. Well, what if I put up a tiny hut around there, give him make it like a little uh, airlock type of thing? Ooh. Or Glabradul uh, could just make a airtight seal with its body against the door, and then like we open the door, no water rushes in, and he's kind of like, Ugh. yeah, we the door as soon as it's through, so close it, yeah, yeah. Did you hear that, Gabagool? Intelligence of ten, so I did, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, just. Sorry. Just pr press up against the door all around it, and when you feel it open up a crack, come inside. Just just slip it in. Not that just the really tip, good, the whole thing. What's confusing uh, about when you feel the door open, go inside. I don't want you guys to drown. We won't. Okay. Uh... Let's have Actually, technically, Rin... technically, it says the interior of the tower is warm and dry regardless of conditions outside. So it actually, doesn't it technically mean we could just open the door? Because if water came inside, it wouldn't be warm and dry. Uh, but does it say that nothing else can pass through it? Like the dome? Yeah, does it say, yeah, like dome weather can't get through it? Um, what's the spell called? Uh, Galder's Tower. Oh, I gotta get my charger. Would be super duper awesome. it, it doesn't say anything specifically about the door or how it works. It talks mostly about the interior. Um. Yeah, I think I think that would work. I think you could let him in. I mean, the way I would read that, there's some. I mean, part of the spell is it's not just just the physical object of the tower. There's something else that protects it to keep exterior conditions from getting in. And it doesn't say anything about anybody like anything not being able to come in. It's actually kind of vague in a lot of places. Yeah, it's considerably more vague than I was expecting. So, yeah, I'm going to say you can let him in. Okay. Also, I just restarted my computers because it's being a bitch. Cool. As soon as I hear that, I let him in. Okay. 
You crack the door open and he just kind of. <laughs> I move out of the way because I don't want to get burned. Yeah. He's like, thanks. It's you bet, wet buddy. out there. It is. Do you so, know? do you guys want to chill for 24 hours and then from a bubble? Or do we want? Or do we want to make a swim for it? I need to gain my rage back. If you want me to fight and fight well, I need, I need rest. Well, I mean, I'm not so worried about yeah. fighting right now. I'm more getting Surviving. out of this water without yeah. drowning. Yeah, until next thing you know it, there's a surprise attack. Well, my I plan involves a long rest and then the bubble, so it's it's what you want. I, I want a rest. I mean, because we're if if we stick for the duration, it's twenty four hours. Since that I, it's either twenty four hours or we go outside and make a swim for it. But yeah, and looks like we're about. 200 ish feet of, of swimming to do, so I don't um, know if we would all be able to make that. I am not super uh, confident. Uh, what is in my the hold your breath thing? It's like you can hold your you breath hold... for as many minutes as your constitution modifier. So I can hold my breath for one minute. I can do four. Mm -hmm. yeah, if we're doing. So I was working for Rain. Yeah, I I don't really see an option. Just uh, stay here until the end and, and bubble it up. Every time I apply it, with I thirty foot speed. swim speed cut in half, standard movement, so no bonus action dashing or anything. A regular person could get three hundred feet in in a minute. So yeah, what about factoring in heavy armor? I'm curious. So I'm, a... I'm not factoring in heavy armor. I'm I'm yeah. just going with base. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm asked. I was asking. All the time for well, well, it's just outside, a I mean, outside the game, heavy armor doesn't actually slow you down in the water, right? I mean, I'm, no more than like leather armor if you didn't have swim speed. I had all of it memorized. Yeah, yeah, but Mr. DM. Yeah, yes, sir. Still like that thing that I just posted. Would that count towards this? Did you post it? Where did you post it? In uh, Forge. In the Foundry. Yeah, I'm. I'm still not there yet. <laughs> oh, it's still not with me. It's it's my uh, natural explorer thing. Essentially, uh, since we're technically still in the Underdark, difficult terrain doesn't slow your group's travel. That's like overland travel. I, I would say that that would not count for this particular <laughs> situation. Okay. Um, my audio and volume is all the way up. If that is all the way yeah, up, we're we're gonna have to theater of the mind the rest of today because for some reason it's not led me back into the forge. So that's fun. Uh, but we were gonna have to call today a little bit early anyhow because I have to go on shift here shortly. But we can certainly resolve this first. So. What is your guys' plan? You gonna take the long rest or go for it now? I vote for bubble. I think it's long, safe long rest and then make a break for it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Just in case there is something on the other side of this uh, is area. Uh, so, well, if there is, we'll be we'll be inside a wall of force when we when we uh, find it. Worst case we'll be safe from whatever it is. <laughs> Crescent, or, can't you uh, cast, but since we're taking a long rest, can't you cast, like, Water Walk or Water Breathing? Don't clerics have access to one of those spells? Uh, let me oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I get. To, I would get to redo mine. So and you're part pick... cleric too, Theric. I forgot that. I keep thinking yeah. you're just a wizard. Yeah, that's right. Let me see. I don't know what level they, those spells are, but... Yeah, I don't know. I only, I'm only water I'm walk would be best because that's the one that makes you go. With yeah, water walk. Underwater. Yeah, I, it, I do have access to that. So if I could take a long, if I could rest, I can <laughs> learn that spell. Yeah, it's too high a level for me. I think a long rest is what we do then. Yeah, up to ten willing creatures you can see within range gains um, this ability. 
sometimes it could be what what does it do uh, the spell grants the ability to move across any liquid surface such as water acid mud snow quicksand or lava as if it were harmless solid ground creatures crossing molten lava can still take uh, damage from They're the heat they got that up to 10 willing creatures you can <laughs> see within range gains this ability for the duration and it's for an hour uh well, how does, acid how on how me and let me stand on help us when we're underwater already it has a special ability go for yeah. it if you target a creature submerged in a liquid the spell carries a target to the surface of the liquid at a rate of 60 feet per round it fires you to the surface like a missile okay uh, yeah that would be that's probably better than me using the fifth level uh, spell slot then. Yeah, i want to cast it and i want to stand on glabadol because then his acidic form wouldn't damage us <laughs> And he's gelatinous, and that's like 99% water. Oh, yeah. He just kind of melds with the water when you guys are in there. Like, yeah. when he was bobbing in the water, you could not see him if it weren't for that body that he's holding inside. Yeah. Which is considerably more degraded at this point, by the way. Yeah, that's not a problem for me to cast. Like I said, I just I have to take a long rest and learn it, but yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, why don't we long rest, then we can go up to the observatory and <coughs> yeah. Can you theoretically drop this before this time no. is up? No, but we can we can leave True. when we yeah. want. Open up the door and walk out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Literally. I mean, I guess worst case, something horrific. There's happened. the spell you... Was really upset I, I may I may have missed part of the planning process here, but uh, the spell that you want to cast to get you to the surface, you can't cast it from within the tower, right? Is we wouldn't be submerged. So we so we'd have to, so we would have to uh, go, go out. In, we we'd go out into the water above I the tower. If, I could talk to her if there's a verbal her component, her you just head. hold your breath so you can say that one boss, spell. Give it to us, and then we pop up. I mean, it does take uh, ten minutes plus an action. So yeah, ten minutes and six. That's seconds. if you ritual cast it. Oh yeah. Well. Mm. I asked her, you know, what was going on? Like, not necessarily. Is it is it a is its casting together? time ten minutes, or uh, is its casting time in action or ten? In minutes? It says I casting like, time one action plus yeah, ten I feel minutes. Like it's a one sided. It's, oh, yeah. it, it, it's because you don't have it prepared, and you're a ritual caster. If you were to prepare it, then you could ritual cast it for ten minutes plus an action, or standard cast it for your spell slot for an action. Uh, just a heads up, my, I think my headphone, I can see the headphones, I'm not sure exactly what they mean, I think they are dying and my other one are not charged, and I can't find my backup, so if I disappear, okay, that's why, so you can time it with drop, I mean, ahead of time? You could probably you, you could time it with starting to cast it right before you finish casting it. Theric drops the tower and then it takes effect. I would I, I can't drop the tower. It's just its duration is just twenty four hours. But we could go there's there's hatches in every floor. It says so there would be a hatch at the very top. So we just no no then water would, well no water can't come in. We just open the hatch, swim out all right above. He cast it on us and then we. To the top. Okay. Yeah, I'd say that would work. Yeah, so we just long rest so we can heal up and all get our stuff back and we can learn that and then we do that. So go ahead and take your long rest. Okay. And level up while we're at it? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what? We got Nate on the ground. Me. <laughs> So I... You're not gonna le let us level up, wow, Tom. Man, it's my birthday, Tom. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. Let's give him a present. Oh. All Only <laughs> two signs. Like just two signs. So that should have given us a lot and of. We, we, and we befriended a god slime. 
Yeah, that should be like level. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, that, um, right that is odd. So, yeah, once I did prepare, it changed it from an action plus 10 minutes to one action. So, that's what okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I want to ask Abigail about the, the stuff inside him while we're in here. And, and I guess ritual cast identify on him. Because you said there's. Didn't somebody say that uh, there were things in him that glowed with detect magic? Yes. Uh, he's going to kind of look, well, you can't tell because he doesn't have eyeballs. Uh, he's going to kind of poke around his insides and be like, oh, sure. And uh, the sword comes popping out of him, landing on the floor. Um, shit, yeah, I think my headphones are about to die. <sighs> And their their earbuds, so I can't plug them in and use them. So, how does this work with being underwater and casting things with verbal uh, components? Is could you get one out, or does that not hinder you? Um, I would rule it as if you were able to take a breath before you got submerged in the water, you could use that breath to cast one spell with okay. verbal components. Yes, it's going to me. Oh. <laughs> I heard that. Sorry. We got, we got, got naders on the ground. I'm on, just making sure I'm watching it. Make sure it's not coming my way. Oh yeah, gotta watch out for those. Yeah. I just figured you were watching sports. You know, Usually when there's naders, I don't, I don't fuck around. I watch the news. Do you, do you live in tornado way? That's right, and we're in our season. I'm actually, we're supposed to get a big one in my city uh, around seven. Where the hell? Yeah. I found my spare headphones, but now I've since lost them again. And there's headphones, but no adapter. So, do we want to wait for this whole 24 hours, or? I don't think there's a need to wait for the whole 24 hours. We no, I say, I say we do the long rest, and then, then like I said, yeah. worst, yeah. If, I mean, worst case, we could swim back down here if things are even worse up there, if we need to regroup. Yeah, so uh, once we take a long rest, head outside, and everyone can hold their breath for at least a minute, right? I walk out, and I cast it on everybody. We get propul pro we get uh, pushed to the top. Uh, yes, that is my understanding of the plan. Oh, I made a stupid mistake. It is not a sword. It's a mace. No, uh, at some point, there, no long just the, just the mace popped out. Um, well, it depends because Glabagool's still eating that drow, so if you want that armor, you'd have to convince him to get rid of it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll start with it. While we'll spit it out, we'll get the armor and get it back in. Glabagool, if you take, if you spit it out, we can take the armor off and give you back what's remaining. That way you don't have that gunk that you're not going to eat inside you. Exactly. We're helping you out. We don't want to give you an ingestion. Yeah, no one wants to eat armor. That just doesn't taste good. Roll me a persuasion it may be check useful. with advantage. Now, if it was Legor, that might be a different story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 15. <coughs> with a 15, Glavagul says, okay, you're not trying to trick me, right? No, 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 definitely not. Would not Why would we want to trick, trick our, our friend? friend? Exactly. Oh, yeah, we're buddies. The first time you've called me your friend. And then the drow body is going to go <laughs> onto the floor. Oh, oh God, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> Look, You're welcome. Yeah, somebody like please isolate these sound effects <laughs> and send them to the Discord. Uh, <laughs> um, well, if somebody would like to uh, remove the butt, take the armor off the body. I'm uh, acid resistant, so I will yeah. move the armor off <laughs> the body. And then I suggest, hey guys, since that I only have my fist, 
do you guys want me to hold on to this maze temporarily? Well, why don't you like, like, identify on it first? Like I've been, like I've been trying to say for like five minutes. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, I, I, would, I would identify I, both of them once we get uh, get it off. Lou is I going to offer to. to uh, Lou is going to offer to Rin uh, to use the arcing great sword because in her hands it would be a far more devastating weapon in his. Holy crap! Yeah, that's scary to think about. Uh, your current great sword is the Dragon Slayer great sword, so it deals two d six and extra damage against dragons. This sword will deal two d six plus two d six lightning against everything. And I'm not trying to trade swords. This is just like you keep your dragon sword in case you need that later. But I'll use one of my, I'll use my other sword. You use this one, please. Okay, I'll take it. But Zach is gonna have to put it on my. Um, my character sheet. What what is this um, word called? Okay. Uh, so Rin now has the arcing greatsword. Damn it! Uh, the markers are so screwed. Oh, you may not what? be in the forge anymore. Um, it's A R C I N G greatsword. It is still not letting me into the forge. I don't know what the fuck's going on. The I was having issues with forge last week, where it was kicking me out and not letting me. Try join. Oh wait, no, you're a, you're the DM though. I was gonna say try joining under a different name. It would work for a player, but probably not for you as the DM. Well, I, I can't even get into the screen right now. Um, oh, but whatever. We're we're just about done here, anyhow. Um, I would have liked to put you on the new map, but we'll just do that next time. Um, uh, Theric, when you identify the mace, it is um, you'll see. Uh, look in the uh, look in uh, for Lightbringer in the uh, magic items. So it's a plus one mace that you can light up like a torch. Nice. It does not catch fire; it just produces light. Okay. Um, and the why aren't you telling me what the armor is? That's fucking weird. The armor's not on here. Well, it's experience, right? That's that's like they. Maybe bring it up to another team. That team's like, hey, I did fuck that up. The, the armor is not actually magic. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Well, so now I'm trying just to find magic. a fucking great sword and I'm not <laughs> plus three plate, right? Yeah, exactly. It's it's plus three uh, adamantine plate of dwarven kind <laughs> <laughs> with a built-in uh, belt of uh, storm giant strength. Uh, obviously, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, can does it does could anybody use this mace? I mean, I can. It'd be better than what I have. It, it, that would be my last ditch thing. So it'd only be if literally no one else can use. It, it would be helpful for. I would like it to replace my magic weapon. Go for it. What's the mace? It's a light. Uh, it's called Lightbringer. Let plus so, one, and you can light it up like a torch. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it, uh, does it also have the undead ability? The extra damage to undead? Um, um, if it's a light bringer, then I assume so. Uh, while yeah. blowing the mace deals extra. Yeah, an, an extra d6 to undead. Yes, yes it does. Nice. Um, and all of you are familiar enough with the drow that this weapon doesn't make sense to be with a drow. <laughs> No, now when you read the description, especially you mentions laughing, dude, or Lathander. Well, murdered someone and took it. The, the thing of it is, according to the book, it's not technically Lightbringer. It just has has all the same features as Lightbringer. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's just Lightbringer for D and D Beyond finding purposes. Yeah, that's yeah. I thought ah, that was like really that, weird. Does it have a name or something? Like Mace of nope. Blair? It's 
So it glows, it glows like phaserous essentially. But yeah, it's a plus one. Oh, I guess then it wouldn't do the extra damage to the undead. Oh, okay. I'll I'll rig up a I'll rig up a magic item once once I get my stuff figured out here, and then I'll drop it in. Uh, yeah, it's it's a plus one mace that lights up. Yeah. All right. No. So you guys going to enact your plan? Yes. Yeah. So once we yep. finish this long rest, uh, yeah, I guess uh, walk out the front door, and then Crescent's gonna cast uh, water breathing on everybody. You mean water walk? Yeah, water walk. Yeah. I'm not understanding why you can't find the arcing great sword, but it's not finding it at all. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I don't I don't see it on mine I'll, either. I'll drop it in your inventory. You should be able to see it as long as you're in the campaign because it's a homebrew item made by me. Um, but I, uh, I can drop it in your inventory later. That's why You I might have not it. have homebrew items turned on. Yeah, that's what it is. I have uh, one off. Yep, I bet that's it. Okay, how do I... Okay, hold on. Uh, manage. Then go to... Home? On... Um, on the first page of it, there's a toggle for allow homebrew or not. Yeah, you can you can actually do it from the character sheet yeah. on your in, in the menu. By the way, now too the side menu they added that. Yeah, there it is. Point. Yeah. Cool. That's dope. That's real dope. Yeah. Yeah, because you're saying yeah, you can change your name there now too. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so you guys exit the tower. Crescent casts water walk on everyone. And you all rock it to the surface of this water. Including uh, Glabagool. Glabagool, right behind you. And you all burst out onto a stony little beach. And you find that you're in kind of a small cavern. Like, you all fit in here, but it's not real big. And there is a singular, narrow tunnel leading into the darkness. And that is where we're going to call it for today. For a minute after I finally mm -hmm. find my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Well, I wanted, I wanted I to get you guys, the on, board. This, I I to get you guys on this other map so that you could, you know, see what was off in the darkness, but uh, apparently that's not happening today. Uh, something is happening behind the scenes here, but uh, we'll get to that next time. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I guess this is Dragon Ball Underdark if Dragon Ball Barovia is Curse of Strahd. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we will be able to play next week, but I am not sure. So as per usual, I will keep you updated. Uh, when I get home from this trip, so sometime mid-next week, I'm then going to 